Following the Diet of Worms, Luther was still under a lot of pressure to recant and compromise in his positions with Rome. He was even threatened with banishment, but he would not be moved. He even said he would give up assurance of a safe conduct, but never his positions on the Word of God. As Luther left Worms and traveled across the country, he was warmly received by the German people. But there were still many people who wanted to kill Luther, and the emperor himself said that as soon as the assurance of his safe conduct should expire, that measures should be taken to end Luther's work. The elector of Saxony, Frederick, devised a plan with some of Luther's friends to capture him and keep him hidden for some time. He was taken here to Wartburg Castle, a place kept so secret that even the Elector Frederick did not know that he was being kept here. Luther's enemies rejoiced, thinking that he had been defeated, but this time for Luther would prove to be a double blessing. Not only did it withdraw him from the heat of the battle, but it also took him away from the public praise and adulation, something that can spiritually maim even the strongest of men. It was here in this room that Luther stayed during his time here at the castle. Like the Apostle John, who wrote the book of Revelation as a prisoner on the Isle of Patmos, while Luther was hiding here in this castle, he translated into German the New Testament. He would translate the Old Testament later, after his return to Wittenberg. Another challenge to the Reformation would now appear on the horizon. In Luther's absence, other reformers had arisen whose message was different to that of Luther and it was drawing away a lot of people and dividing the movement. In particular, some people thought that it was acceptable to use violence as a means to abolish the mass and to rise up against the oppressors. Thomas Munzer was a leader of this movement. This news was relayed to Luther and he felt a deep burden for his people back in Wittenberg as he thought of them as a shepherd thinks of their sheep. Despite having no assurance of a safe conduct, he left Wartburg Castle and headed for Wittenberg. Luther's return caused a great stir and the church filled at the first opportunity to hear him speak. Luther stood up and reaffirmed that the mass was a bad thing and ought to be abolished, but that no one should be torn from it by force. It was not their job to force the conscience of anyone, no matter how strong they felt about the matter. Luther was able to check this uprising for a while, but it would arise later on with devastating results when Thomas Munzer himself was killed. Every time there is a true revival, Satan brings a false one along. Even so, at the end of time, there's going to be a true revival of godliness and then there's going to be a false revival as well. May we be faithful to God that we will be part of the true revival that will take place at the end of time.